Hi, welcome to the Quantity Serving Studio. So in today's video, we'll be looking into the difference between fixtures and fittings. Try to see this video till the end because as the title suggests, you might think that why this is important as a quantity survey, but this is actually really important as a QS. So try to watch this video till the end to know more about this. Now let's understand what a fixture is. A fixture is any item that is intended to be reasonably permanent and is affixed to the property through the application of plaster, cement, bolt, screws, nuts or nails. So let's see a few examples so that it is more clear. So these are the examples of fixtures. So the electrical installation works, television area, satellite dishes, the bathroom suits and sanitary wear installation, plumbing installations, kitchen unit sink. So as the name suggests in the previous slide, it is an item that is permanently affixed to the property through some cement works, screws, nuts. So these are the examples for those. So that is what a fixture is. So there are a lot of examples. Now let's understand what a fitting is. A fitting or it is also called as furnishing is any item that is freestanding or hung by screws, nails or hooks. So this is actually not a permanent item. This is all almost like a temporary item that can be replaceable. So these are the examples of that items. So some of the examples of fittings are telephone systems, CCTV systems, curtains, curtain rails, notice boards, lamps, lampshades. So here comes the difference. Even the light fittings, you, you've seen light fittings as a fixture and here you see lamps, lampshades as fittings. So that is what the difference is. So if you go back to slides, here you can see electrical installation, sockets, light fittings. And here you can see lamps, lampshades. So these are lamps and lampshades are the items that can be replaced. It is not permanently fixed to the wire or the cables or wires that is already inside the building. Now from the next slide, you'll understand why as a QS, this difference is important. So if you see as per NRM1, when you're preparing the cost plan, there are two sections, mainly one section is section 4 which is for fittings, furnishings and equipments. And there is another section called services. In that services 5.1, 5 is the section number and 5.1 is sanitary installations. So mostly people get confused in between these two sections. So all these sanitary installations which are fixtures that is, that is installed permanently like the water closet, the wash basins, all those comes under 5.1 and all these replaceable fittings like mirrors, towel rods, rails, all these comes as part of section 4.1 that is fitting, furnishing and equipment. But most of the time it people get confused and mix these both. Now if you see NRM2 again, there is a section 32 for furniture, fittings and equipment where all the items that needs to be put under this section is mentioned like fixtures, kitchen fittings, catering equipment. Here if you see sanitary appliances and fittings are put under these sections. But again, most of the time what I have seen is there is another section for plumbing works exclusively for under that they put a separate heading called sanitary fixings and put all those sanitary fixtures under that so again this keeps on changing i see different boqs where the actual practice is done where the the sanitary fixtures are put under this section then there are some boqs where the sanitary fixtures are put under the plumbing like the where the plumbing section comes disposal installation all those parts so again this keeps on changing the problem with the construction sector is that it is still immature it is not at all standardized still as per date the boqs if you see is not consistent enough for different projects it is a different ways that is being carried out so that is why there needs to be a consistency in the construction sector and this is keeping that is something is on a debate even at this stage now if you see for me again there is a section l called equipment if you see under that generally for purpose of identification equipment to be measured in accordance with the principles in this section shall be defined as specialist equipment related solely to the function of a building or department for example food services service equipment laboratory so there is one section called epic equipment section l then there is a section M called furnishing. In the, that it is for the purpose of identification furnishing to be measured in accordance with the principles in this section shall be defined as loose furniture, fittings or this or the like related to the occupation and use of a building or department. So all those temporary items. And again, if you go to section Q, section Q is for mechanical works and in that Q4 equipment. In that if you see sanitary fittings, tanks, fan, pumps, hoods, air handling units shall be enumerated and then 
again section r where the electrical installation works are there and under that r7 equipment you have generator generator transformer power cubicles luminous external lightning column clocks loudspeakers bells or lights shall be enumerated so here there are different sections so when, when you have to properly put according to the use or what the definition is for each section under each like each equipment under each section whether it is a plumbing equipment whether this is normal furnishing equipment or whether it is uh, electrical installation works so accordingly seeing on the section wise how they have mentioned the definition of these sections you have to put these items so thanks a lot for watching this video hope you've got some learning from this even though it is not that important but still i felt that this is really important while preparing our boq how you need to separate the sec the furnishings the fitting the equipment under different sections as per different standard methods of measurement so next time when you prepare your boq you can do according to this video the different sections and i'm pe pretty sure that your line your managers or your clients or the consultants might differ with you they might not no, agree with you how you have put the fittings in different sections so you can try your best to justify why you have put the particular item in that particular section and hope you are having a good time in your career if you're not yet subscribed to quantity surveying studio please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related videos thank you for watching once again take care bye